let's talk about spectrum monitoring for cognitive radio. Here, we'll explore the crucial role of cognitive radio in wireless communications and the importance of spectrum monitoring for cognitive radio. We'll also demonstrate an application of spectrum monitoring using deep learning in MATLAB, followed by key insights and next steps. Cognitive radio is an advanced form of wireless communication technology. It allows devices to automatically detect available channels in the wireless spectrum and then dynamically adjust their transmission or reception parameters to utilize the unused spectrum. This ability to sense and adapt to the environment makes cognitive radio a key technology for optimizing the use of limited wireless spectrum resources. Spectrum monitoring is the key aspect of cognitive radio. Spectrum monitoring has multiple requirements, such as spectrum sensing, management, mobility, and sharing. With spectrum sensing, cognitive radios can detect unused spectrum bands, also known as white spaces, across the radio frequency spectrum. This capability allows them to identify the best available channels to avoid interference with licensed or primary users. Once the available channels are identified, cognitive radios can select the most suitable channel based on the user's requirements and the channel's characteristics. This process involves spectrum management for prioritizing channels to optimize network performance. Cognitive radio can seamlessly switch from one channel to another without causing interference to other users. This ensures that the communication is maintained without interruption, even as channels are dynamically changed. This involves coordinating access to the spectrum among multiple users. Cognitive radios can negotiate with each other to share the spectrum efficiently, ensuring that all users have fair access to the resources. We have learned that spectrum monitoring is crucial for cognitive radio applications. Detecting and classifying signals in a spectrum is an important step in achieving this goal. In this context, we will show a workflow that utilizes software-defined radio and deep learning techniques to capture and classify signals. The workflow is comprised of four steps, which are as follows. Generating training and test signals, training and evaluating the deep learning network, testing the network with and without a radio, and optimizing its performance. All of these steps are depicted using a graphical interface, which is built in MATLAB. Our demo is capable of classifying 5G and radar signals. Let's take a closer look at the demo. To train a deep learning model, the first step is data generation. We provide signal and radio parameters and then transmit the signal through a connected radio to a MATLAB host. We capture the signals using another radio and use them to train the network. This method ensures that we generate and manipulate signals in a controlled manner, resulting in a comprehensive data set for effective training of the deep learning model. During the training signal generation, we will use spectrograms of signals for training and classification purposes that transform the 1D signal classification problem into a 2D image classification problem. After completing the previous step, the next stage is to train the deep learning network that increases the accuracy of the network for signal classification. For practical applications and to achieve higher accuracy, you may require thousands of such signals. After training the network, we can assess its performance using metrics such as intersection over union and a confusion matrix. A high intersection over union value, skewed towards 1, indicates good accuracy. Similarly, a confusion matrix with diagonal values close to 100% indicates that the network has correctly classified the images. We can also visualize the confusion matrix to better understand the performance. After training and evaluating the network, we proceed to test it. A well-trained network is expected to classify each pixel in the spectrogram into one of three categories, radar, NR, or new radio, or noise. The identification of good classification is when the true label and the predicted label align, which is the case here. Additionally, we can connect a software-defined radio in the loop to capture over-the-air signals and perform signal classification. In summary, spectrum monitoring is needed for cognitive radio to perform spectrum sensing, management, mobility, and sharing. Deep learning is effective in spectrum monitoring and signal classification as demodulation and decoding of signal is not required. 
To learn more, explore the variety of examples, documentation, and other videos related to spectrum monitoring for cognitive radios in MATLAB, which you can find in the links below.